You're very good at painting roses. You taught us to paint them too. You were very good. Your roses were always so beautiful, so lifelike. I used to show them to anyone who'd listen. Not like Susan's. Oh, Susan, couldn't even draw a straight line. Her roses look more like red cauliflowers. Awful. <laughs> I am Susan, mother. We can't go out in the garden, it's too cold. But I want to see the roses. I said it's too cold. It's so cold that the roses are all going to die. So you can't see them. Not today, not tomorrow, never. It's all right, just talk to me. I saw Sarah today. She was at the apartment when I got back. Oh. We talked. A lot. And... We decided to give it one more shot. That's... Great. That's great. I'm really happy for you guys. I'm so sorry. I had no idea this would happen. It's just... It's Sarah, you know? I know. I know. Sarah. Fine, we have a bet about how long you're gonna last with them. It's just something stupid. It's a silly game. It was Danny's idea. Although I have to say, if you last another week, I'm gonna lose. So don't want to twist your arm or anything, but you might want to think about that statue. Behind yeah, me back, yeah? I'm sorry, Katie. It was just a running joke. Oh, well, I'm glad to see I'm the butt of your jokes. And you wonder why I'm so worried about Grace. She's the only one who's ever given a damn about me. At least now I know what you really think. Katie the loser. Not at all. Does Grace know about this? Of course not. It's just a stupid thing with Cheryl. It doesn't mean anything. Maybe not to you. Look. It can just be hard sometimes trying to keep up with your love life. Oh, well, I'll make it easier for you then. Right, you can both pretend I don't exist.